This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From your online portfolio to your very own shop, make it with Squarespace. A few weeks ago, I told you guys about these DIY stickers you can get in my shop that you can customize and make your own. And I was super excited to see what you guys make of them. Can we talk about you guys' creativity? I mean, oh my God, look at these stickers. They're cute, they're colorful. I just love seeing this sort of like collaborative effort between me and you. It's amazing, I love it. Thank you guys so much for not only supporting my shop, but also collaborating with me. I hope you had fun. And now it's time for me to have fun with my very own stickers. I'm going to be creating a few of my own art.exe and character.exe stickers. But first I do want to swatch these and test different art supplies on these stickers to see what works best? Really quick, we're going to test Copic markers, these friction erasable pens, these Muji ballpoint pens, some Prismacolor colored pencils, some acrylic wash, and of course, watercolor. There are so many other art supplies you can use on these stickers, maybe Sharpies, graphite pencils, inks, markers, crayons. Ooh, should I test crayons? Basically, I wanna test some things that are a little bit more absorbent to the paper, see what works. It'll be a quick test, so let's get into it. Okay, let's test these Copics. Really quick, let's just do a swatch see how the paper handles copics oh have these been stored upside down uh oh i think they've, these have been stored this way which is not the best way to store them let's put a little bear on here okay there is our interesting swatch it looks like the copics do dry so minimal bleeding yeah would recommend copics Next up, I do wanna try out these erasable pens. I know pens work really well in these stickers, but do they erase well? All right, let's test it. We're going to do quite the scribble. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. In the meantime, let's do some swatches. What is it about a rainbow swatch that's just so satisfying? Okay, let's see if these pens can erase. We'll just, oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Well, if you don't like the commitment of a pen, you can certainly use erasable pens. We love to see it. Next up, we have these Muji ballpoint pens. These are actually my favorite pen to sketch with. I actually do know that they work because I tested them for my product photo shoot. Let's put a kitty doodle over here, why not? Heck yeah, a ballpoint pen. Next up, let's test out our color pencils. We're just gonna do a little scribble. Again, I have tested these on the product photo, so I do know that they, they work well. I did a lovely blended rainbow. So there we go, our color pencils. Look at them, look at them go. Next up, I have not tested acrylic wash. I really have my doubts about the more watery art supplies, but let's, let's see. Just gonna add a little bit of water and, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, I have to say I'm surprised. It is handling that quite well. Let's see how it dries. Now, gouache is a very opaque medium, so I would be very mindful about it covering up the borders of the sticker. That being said, I'm actually really surprised of how well the sticker can handle such a wet medium. I'm seriously surprised, like what? But like I said, we'll see what it looks like once it's all dried. Look how well this paper sticker was able to handle a wet medium, what? I mean, it's still a little wet, but it's not even buckled a little bit. I'm seriously surprised. That is, wow. Let's move on to our final test. Watercolor. Can it truly handle a wet medium? Let's see. All right, get this sucker wet. And we'll create... Okay, so I've already seen some resistance. I don't know what the technical term is for where like a wet medium sort of separates on a water resistant surface. I don't know what that's called, but clearly watercolor isn't quite made for this paper. Now I'm not going to wait between colors to let it dry. So if we get some bleeding, we get some bleeding. Which like, honestly, you can get some pretty cool effects. I mean, if you don't want a smooth flat to wash, you know, you get some cool textures there. There you go. So we have tested all six of our art supplies. We have Copics, erasable pens, ballpoint pens, colored pencils, gouache, and watercolor. Let's get into it. 
It has been so long since I've even touched alcohol markers, so let's go ahead and get the Copics out of the way. I approached this one in a very abstract way. I was feeling very abstract. I wanted to do something a little bit more of a splash of color, some lines. So we have a mystery character. That's our character, that's our guy. It wasn't much of a warm up, but I was feeling a little more comfortable with these markers, though I gotta say, I don't think these markers were meant for this paper, obviously. So before I started this piece, I stored the markers upside down just to get the ink flowing into the right nib and I think as I used them the ink eventually just started exploding out of the marker and I was like what do, what do I even do with this so I was approaching this piece just practicing water I've actually never drawn water like this before so I wanted to give it a shot the marker started to explode I mean ink was dripping out of it so I turned that mistake into an opportunity and I created a blob where the fish are coming out so that kind of ties in our abstract theme together and I, I actually really like this piece. This is probably one of my favorites for sure. A little breaking the border, a little trying new technique. It was a fun one, I had fun with it. Next up, using our friction pens, I actually did this piece first because I just needed something forgivable, something that was erasable that I could practice with. So going into this piece, we have our business ghost man. It's it's a guy with a ghost for a head and he's got some buddies. I thought I would do some texture to background instead of just completely black. It turned out pretty cute. He's not very social because he is a ghost. He scares everybody. He is very smart though, super smart. And that's it, that's our business ghost. Ghost. Moving on to our art piece, I wanted to actually use the eraser as part of the tool of this pen because it was erasable. Why not make it a feature? I started off by coloring a field with a ghost and instead of making a cloud with a rainbow, we have a rainbow coming out of a ghost. And this is where I wanted to use the eraser as a tool and I erased away the grass to show that the ghost was glowing and reflecting the light onto the grass. And I think it actually turned out pretty fun. I thought it was a very interesting way to sort of spin the erasable part of this pen as part of the art supply. So that's that. Before we move on to our other four art supplies, I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Without Squarespace, I wouldn't have a shop. And if I didn't have a shop, I wouldn't have these amazing stickers that I'm creating with. If you're an artist, and I assume you are, you need your own portfolio or gallery to show off your art. It's so easy to do, just choose a template. They're super customizable, make it your own. Connect all of your social media accounts so everyone knows where to follow you. And when you're ready, you can even start selling your art. That's right, sell your art. Head to Squarespace com for a free trial when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash casey golden to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain link in the description thank you so much to squarespace for sponsoring this video y'all make a website while you do that let's continue creating Moving on to our Muji pins. This is the pen I actually originally tested out these stickers with. They are perfect for these stickers. They go on smooth, they go on great, flat, love them. I must have had horror or Halloween on my mind because I decided to doodle a witch. She's super silly, I love her. And I really wanted to play around with some very curly and red hair. So I just kind of scribbled some hair on there and I definitely wanted to break the border. So I broke that border. It's a witch, y'all. She's got a broom, a cauldron, and a mystery potion. Would you drink it? I wouldn't. <laughs> Moving on to the art.exe piece, I thought I would continue on with our witch theme and also make it very cool. So I focused on blue colors for this piece. We've got some trees in the foreground and in the background, we have our witch flying. It is just a silhouette of our witch. I used the negative space of the cloud to help pop that witch off because black on dark blue was going to be a little hard to see. And then added a few details of just some grass and flowers sticking up from the snow. This piece is super adorable. Next up, we have our colored pencils, and colored pencils are definitely one of the more different art supplies in this batch. I don't know if it's the paper, but I feel like maybe the colored pencils don't go down as hard, as bright, as solid, and I get really thick, soft art when I work with colored pencils on these 
stickers. With that in mind, I thought I would go with a very cute pink palette, work with a fuzzy alpaca or a llama. So we have our llama bean character. Don't really know what that name is, but it's very pink and very cute. And you know what? I like this one. Moving on to the art piece. We have, okay, so I was approaching this piece. I just wanted to create this sort of soft, earthy colored mountain. <laughs> and I wanted to carry over the same colors I used with the llama. So like pinks and stuff. Uh, it actually just looks like, I don't know, Pimple Mountain, Nipple Mountain, uh, whatever you see, that's what it is. Because let me tell you, this just looks like a big pimple coming out of the ground. So take that information and do with that as you want. I do like the colors, it just, I see, I see a pimple. Okay, our wet mediums, we're going in with our gouache and these are definitely where I start really enjoying creating these pieces. The gouache is such a perfect art supplies because it is very opaque and I'm so surprised still by how well the paper actually handles this wet medium. Our character is a very cute bunny fluffy flower. It is the dandy bun. It's not very social, it's definitely not very smart and it doesn't have a lot of luck because it is a plant. It doesn't have a brain and it's probably gonna get eaten by another bunny. Probably should have used blue or just a darker color in general. The bunny is a little hidden, but it's still very cute. Its only item is a leaf or a sprout. Plants don't have items. Moving on. For our art.exe piece, I definitely, you guessed it, had to do one of my field paintings. If you've been following me on like Twitter or Instagram, you've been seeing me post so many of these field paintings. It's just my current obsession. They're just so fun to make. I love them. And this is definitely one of my favorite pieces out of this batch. It just worked so perfectly. I'm breaking the border with the grass. I could throw this grass on literally anything and it would look amazing. What more is there to say? I think it, it's just perfect. Perfect, I love it, it's great. I literally have nothing else to say about it except that it's my favorite and I love it. Have I said that already? Let's move on. <laughs> And last but not least, we're working with watercolor and if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, I don't understand how the sticker handled water so well. The water of course was being resisted because it wasn't absorbent, so maybe that's how it accepted it so well. But usually if you just take paper and make it wet, it gets all crinkly. This did not get crinkly. I really just wanted to play around with the texture of the sticker resisting the water, so I just kind of put down a bunch of color with space in mind. At first I was going to have like a space head creature and then I decided that I was just gonna throw a spaceman in the middle of this little space scene and that's him just like off in the background. He's not very social because he's literally all alone in space. He's very smart because he's a spaceman and he's also pretty unlucky because he's lost in space. This one's really silly and I wanted to play around more with space because I felt like I didn't use bright enough colors for that first piece so for our art.exe we have just a space scene. Pretty simple. Threw down some water, some colors. My one regret is that I kind of wish I did leave the planets just the paper color. I noticed that the micron pens were having a lot of trouble drying completely because once I put watercolor on top of the pens they did start to smudge a little bit. So I would keep that in mind if you do use these. Maybe do the pen second. Other than that there it is. Our final sticker piece. Once again, thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you. Check it out, make your own website, and of course, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to everyone who supported my shop and joined in on these stickers. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.